it can be hard to balance work life with you know like your personal art practice especially when you work in the arts a lot of your energy kind of goes into that and sometimes there isn't very much left after that I started the mural last summer. At the time I was working with the gym and the owners knew that I'm an artist. So they asked me if I wanted to paint a mural for the space, but I wanted the mural that I'm painting to be connected to a specific place that I associate with climbing. And for me, that's 11 Mile Canyon. My name is Christine Flores. I am a local artist. I was born here in Colorado Springs and um, my earliest memories are actually from being in Hawaii. When I describe my work, I talk about it being like more illustrative or design oriented. And the reason that I think that way is because um, Typically when I draw, it's very, the imagery is very reductive. I don't want to force anything out of myself that isn't going to naturally just come out. Um, and I think maybe it's like partially just the way that, maybe a behavioral thing too, where I get very focused on certain things almost or sometimes to the point of obsession. So it's kind of like seeing the world through my eyes where it's like you do only see like certain aspects. I don't know, it can get kind of overwhelming when I'm working on like a piece and there's, there's just too much to work on sometimes. It can be very hard to fill an entire page with like a pencil or a marker and I know folks do that but it, it doesn't feel doesn't feel like what I need. It's like a message that you're trying to communicate through visual symbols but um, trying to communicate it with like the least amount of visual information possible. And sometimes that's why I do digital work as well, because like working with programs like Illustrator, I can determine where something is. I believe it was in April, I had learned that one of my aunts was going to pass away. At her viewing, there was a box of tissues right next to me and I just kept like pulling tissues, pulling tissues, like just absolutely devastated. And I had this giant clump of tissues in my hands and I had them in my lap and I opened my hands. And when I looked down into my hands, it was like these tissues had become this flower that was blooming. I knew like, this is what I have to draw. So yeah, the reason why I titled the piece Hail Mary Lessons on Grief is because it does reference that um, the Hail Mary prayer where you say it 10 times when you're praying and then the lessons on grief part was that drawing those tissues was my process of grieving my aunt and like each time I sat down to draw, it was like, it's a little bit like praying and grieving and trying. Each time you lose somebody, it feels a little bit different. So you have to learn how to like move forward in your life when somebody is no longer part of it and learn how to grieve them, but also learn how to keep moving forward. It can be really difficult to balance my personal art practice and 
my work art practice because it is a, it's a, I only have so much creative energy and a lot of it does go into my job and sometimes it can be hard to find the motivation at the end of a seven or eight hour day to make more things. But, so that's still something I'm trying to navigate and find out how to do. Because this is my first time working full time in addition to trying to have a personal art practice. Before that, I was just a student. And so kind of everything was my personal art practice, even if it was work that I was making for school. So yeah, I'm still trying to figure that out. But I did start drawing again recently and it does feel good to do that even on days where I feel like I don't have energy left. Sometimes just drawing, not everything has to be a masterpiece. Sometimes drawing just to draw is just as valuable as creating something like, like the mural.